now comes the time for a bit of a rant. I said a couple videos ago that I don't, that I like to try to follow the basis of what my father taught me, and that is you don't talk about your bank account and you don't talk about politics. Well, since then, I've been doing a lot of thinking. So, I'm going to put this on pause, set it up on a tripod, and then we're going to do a little bit of a rant here over everything that we've been uh, experiencing and some of the things that uh, I have come up with that I haven't heard anybody else mention. And that's disturbing in itself. So, okay, I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. Got it all set up. I mentioned the other day of some of my concerns, my disgust for how this whole election thing, or not election, campaigning garbage is that we're hearing on the, the TV, on the radio, on the internet, anywhere you go. Some things are more disgusting to me than others. And uh, I wanted to discuss that. I guess it's kind of a rant or whatever. One thing that my, my wife read to me the other day that she uh, saw on Facebook, it made kind of a lot of sense. Now, I don't know exactly what she read to me, and, it, and I, I kind of sat down and tried to come up with something similar to that. I don't want to be accused of being racist. I don't want to be accused of picking on anybody. So I came up with a number of different things. But it's something for all of us to stop and think about. And the way it kind of went was most of the terrorists that have been plaguing this world have been Muslims. And yet we're not to racially profile. Most, this is, most of the gangs in the cities, they have their colors, and yet we haven't outlawed those colors or, or anything in that order. How many people have a problem, let's say, with attorneys or lawyers, and the corruption in Washington and 90% of all of the politicians in there? They're lawyers, so have you know we're not to outlaw lawyers either. Lord knows, you know, the Native Americans sure did a job on Custer, but yet we have uh, not outlawed them either. So when a few crazy people go and shoot things, and they want to outlaw guns, they want to change the Constitution. They want to punish all of the law-abiding citizens. Does this make sense? Can a gun kill? No. But the person holding that gun can. We've even got one politician out there who's talking about confiscation. Now, I'm sorry. I don't know if anybody has ever really read the Constitution. Does it matter whether you have or not? But the, but you've heard other people talking about enough to where it's understood that our entire nation is based upon this Constitution. To the point where I did some investigations. And... Uh, I don't know, I guess I'm going to point this at the uh, veterans, military personnel, families of military personnel. Uh, but here's, here's what I come up with. I went online and I found this. 
and I printed it out because I remember when I went into the military I had to stand and take an oath. It's the same oath every single person in this country has had to stand and take to become a member of that military branch. The same oath is for the Army, the Navy, the Air Force, and the Marines. Doesn't matter. And it basically, for the enlisted man, states, I, and then you add your name, do solemnly swear or affirm that I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States against all enemies, foreign and domestic. Does anybody else remember this? It doesn't state in there that you will stand back and praise people for wanting to change something that has gotten us through this world for all this time and to become and to be one of the greatest countries in this world. And it's because of the veterans and the military people who stood by and held to that oath. Most of the veterans I know will hold to that oath even though they're out. They've been discharged, myself included. What is a person that wants to take that away? Would you classify that person as an enemy, foreign and or domestic? That's the number one thing. The number one thing. You can go ahead and read the rest of this. And it says that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. In other words, I'm going to give faith to that Constitution and allegiance to that Constitution. It doesn't say that I'm going to serve a person or whatever. It says I'm going to defend the Constitution. I don't care if you're a Republican, if you're Democrat, or if you are as I say I am. I'm an American. I'm not affiliated to any of the parties. As a matter of fact, in my opinion, at times I believe the parties need to be abolished. I've heard the argument saying, well, you need two sides. Yes, you do. I agree with that. But how many times have you been in, in a room full of people having a discussion and there isn't some other side or some other opinion to be discussed. You don't need the parties. You need... How do you put this? Cooperation? You need legitimacy and honesty. Is that what we have in Washington today? Now, I've also got the oath here for the officers for the military, and theirs pretty much says the exact same thing. A little bit more wordy. Except, on the enlisted man, it says that you are to abide by, obey the orders of the President of the United States. Now, my question is, if that President is one that wants to more or less demolish or harm the Constitution. Is that somebody that I want to abide by or obey? Is that something that we should abide by or obey? I know my father fought and went through some horrific things in the Second World War to give us and to retain for us the freedom that we enjoy this day. And yes, to remain able and the right to bear arms. How many of your families have fought and maybe even given the most sacrifice it could be and died, bled and died for this country? and for the freedoms 
and the rights that we are, that we all enjoy to have a power hungry political group let's 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 go that way to come up and say no we need to strip those rights away from you people millions have pledged to this millions Republicans Democrat Americans like myself millions has everybody forgotten this pledge has anybody remembered this pledge I have we need to vote for the one that keeps declaring that they're going to abide by this that they're going to protect this and they are going to see to it that our rights are upheld get out and vote do what you gotta do I'm not going to tell you who to vote for I'm going to tell you to vote right vote for your constitution not for your party make sure that we retain the strength that we have and that our forefathers bled, died, and fought to make sure that we had that the living veterans out there remember what they have done and what it was for God bless America can't say it enough we live in the greatest country in this world we are the greatest country in this world we have a long way to go to be the best country in this world but I know we can do it come November let's make it that way leave a comment for me give me a thumbs up tell a friend family subscribe Stead Omer here catch you later